Current time is 9.55 p.m. Anchorage downtown, you can see the flags waving. It's a bit windy today, guys. It is a beautiful Tuesday night. We got some crazy wind, woo! Blowing right out of our face. We got about two, we got about four inches of snow today. And now it's just picking up the wind. We got the proper shoes on today. We're gonna go do a quick walk in downtown, show you guys what it's like in downtown on a Tuesday. There's definitely much more cars. here last time last week man it is still chilly the reason why it's chilly is because of the wind hopefully the audio is not bad this place is hiring now hiring you know why they're hiring because they are getting ready for the tourist season they want to make sure you're trained and ready for all that tourist Okay, so last time it was cold because we weren't dressed properly and now it's cold because we're still not dressed properly and I forgot my, I should have worn my ski mask. That would have kept my face cold. The only thing that's cold right now is just my face. Ah, beautiful day here. We're vlogging on the GoPro. We're on the GoPro so the uh, camera is going to be more steady more steady but the quality is not going to be as good as the last time the last time we were vlogging on the iPhone shooting in 4k I want myself a nice CRV man so the reason why I didn't draw my Land Cruiser is because my Land Cruiser is out of commission for right now it's getting some uh, upgrades you can see here we got lots of people man lots of people out here walking <laughs> that gift shop said they're open, but they're actually closed. Tons of restaurants are open still. Ah, beautiful day, guys. So I'm excited about February. If you guys don't know anything, in Anchorage, Alaska, the last two weeks of February, um, that's when they start the Fur Rondi. Fur Rondi, Iditarol, Winter Carnival, whichever you want to call it, but the technical name for it is Fur Rondi. Um, basically, it's from the last two weeks of February to like the first week of March. <coughs> they have like the Winter Carnival. They have the Winter Carnival, they had the Iditarods, and they usually shut down 4th Avenue, and they have lots of events here. So that's going to be on the last two weeks of February. And, uh... Once that time's come, I'll go ahead and make sure you guys stay up to date on the events and stuff. Make sure we keep you guys posted, informed on what's going on in the Fur Ronnie. Because lots of people all over the world come to this event. And uh, the Fur Ronnie is the, uh, or the, the Iditarod is the uh, sled, sled dog races. So they don't officially take off from Anchorage. They just come to downtown and just show off this. They just show off the riders and the dogs and they do a few laps around the city. Um, but the official start of the Iditarod, I believe, is in Big Lake or Willow. And basically, they ride their sled dogs all the way from the start to Nome. Nome is like far away. I don't know the exact distance, but man, it is. It's a crazy race, man. You got to be mentally fit, uh, physically fit. Your dogs has to be prepared. It's crazy, man. They, they practice all year. They, they train their dogs all year for this event. And uh, it's wonderful. It's a really nice event. It's a big event in downtown here. Uh, like I said, that's going to be happening in the next couple weeks. Um, but the thing is that last year they didn't do it. 20, uh, 2020, 2021, they didn't do it because of the C19 stuff. But this year is going to be, I think this year is going to be a good combat because everybody's going to be excited. Everybody's going to be pumped for it. So I'm excited for it. It's always nice to come out and see all the locals, food trucks, and just the life. We're on 3rd Avenue. <coughs> this is the 49th Day restaurant right here. Beautiful day. This is the back parking lot of the bars. 
Yeah. Nice forerunner. Man, it is empty tonight on the bars. You can see all the wind, the, the wind's blowing all these signs. I did want to apologize, apologize in advance if the audio is bad because like I said, oh, I gotta walk this way, man. I gotta walk backwards. The wind's blowing on my face. So besides the fur Ronnie coming up, um, I don't think I really have any other news for you guys. It's supposed to be colder than this. It's actually supposed to be going, it's supposed to be getting warmer actually. Next week it's supposed to get to like the 30s. And I think this year, I think this year we're gonna have an early spring. Oh man, my nose is freezing. <coughs> it is chilly. When I say it's chilly, man, it is cold. Because you guys know me, man. It takes a lot of cold to get me cold. And when it's cold, it's cold for me. Nice shelter right here. I'm not sure what this building is. Oh man, it is cold. <coughs> I got the right boots on, but I don't got the right face mask on. So we're doing like the same route that we did last time. Oh, this is a nice enough forerunner. Oh man, it's very chilly. <coughs> I do got my gloves on. <coughs> they're not the best gloves, but they're better than nothing. This is the alleyway. Let's go check the alleyways out. You guys know me, man. I love alleyways. This is the back of brew house. You guys know the front of brew house already. <laughs> this is the back of it right here. You can see here they have their own brew machine and all that fun stuff. Alleyways are always interesting. You have, you see a lot of interesting things. You can see the co -work, the workers. They can ride their bikes. Back entrance right here. I wonder if we can go inside. Should we try to enter? Yeah, you see a lot of you see a lot of things back here, man. This is like the behind the scenes of restaurants. Shows these. <coughs> very very cool. <coughs> very cool. Check out this way. Check out this place right here. There's like a slip right here. You can just go inside of it. Can you guys see this? Dude, this is a good spot to just hide. Look at this, man. Look at this. We're just hiding here. I'm surprised nobody's over here. This is pretty cool, man. Look, you guys know a good hiding spot now. If you ever if you ever need to run away from your wife or your husband or somebody that's chasing you or crazy people just hide right here i should dress like a clown and just wait till the workers come out to go to the dumpster and just scare the heck out of them <laughs> pretty crazy huh i told you man you find new things in here man there's always interesting stuff always seeing interesting stuff there's the bars right here. This is Darren's Theories right behind me. They're pretty packed today too. Right here. So we're gonna go down to Fifth Avenue. I wanna go check out Town Square and see what's going on in Town Square today. I wanna see if they still have the ice rink. Uh, check out the Christmas lights. And I'll just check out a few things. Let's go ahead and cross the roads here. 
Look at all these folks here. Oh, dude, it's chilling. Start to cross. <laughs> Oh man, look at this building here. This is the bank I was talking to you guys about. I think they're almost finished. It's been like three years now. 18, 19, 20. Three years, three, almost four years now. Crazy. So right now we're on Fifth Avenue, uh, heading out to the town square. Oh, this. Oh yeah, yeah. quite dark over here they have the street lights turn off <coughs> you can hear all the plastic just flapping everywhere <coughs> oh they got music over here Oh, they got music. The uh, there's somebody over there with a speaker playing music. I don't want to get copyright strikes on the video, but yeah, you can see here, town square is still up, Christmas lights are still on, they still have the ice ring going on here. <coughs> ice rink is up. Let's see what the sign says. sign doesn't say anything it's not very really slick because we just got some snow here so it looks like they just got done shoveling the snow and stuff town square park man nothing much to see around nothing much to see in town square no more it's nice and quiet it's crazy because usually town square Every city that you go to, where you go to Town Square, it's always attracting people. But this place here doesn't really attract people. They don't have enough stuff going on. I mean, once in a while they'll do like events and stuff. But for the winter time, it just kind of dies down. The only events they do here in the winter time is the Fur Rondi and the New Year's. But that's pretty much it. Other than that, there's not that much people. It's just a good night to come out here and do some exercising, do some walking, get some fresh air. You guys remember during Christmas season, they shut down this row right here, East Street between Fifth and Fourth, uh, Fifth and Sixth, and they had all these they had all these string lights up here, and uh, it's been reopened right now, so you can travel back on this road here. This section right here from 6th to 5th on E Street, it doesn't get that much traffic. Just a little bit of traffic. You got some gift shops right here, and then another gift shop right there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll make our way back. Right now, downtown's quiet, but like I said, in the next two weeks, it's gonna be nice and crazy. Tourists are gonna start coming in. Yeah, lots of fun stuff soon. This is a restaurant here. I wonder if they closed down or not. I think they're still open. Or as far as business, well, I think they're still open, but they're closed for the time being. These trash cans right here are bear proof in Alaska. You guys might not have these, but the way they work is that it works just like the UPS Postal Service one. You open it and then you can't get inside until you drop it in. And then this one, you can't open it unless your fingers go in here, but they have it locked up. A lot of the trash can in the city and also out in the parks, they're all made like that. It's metal and it has these safety door switches thing. And it is to prevent bears from digging in and getting used to humans and stuff 
Let's go check out this alleyway. You guys been down this alleyway before? Beautiful artworks. Nice artworks. <clears throat> and this cuts between uh this cuts between fifth and fourth. Right over here, right over here gets you back to Fourth Avenue, and that's where we're parked. This is the Ferrandi headquarter. This building right here, on the corner of D and Fourth. I'll show you guys that in a bit. That's the headquarter. Yeah, if you guys are in Anchorage, you guys got to learn the cutaways, like all the alleyways. You guys got to know how to get from one end to one end if you're ever in a sticky, sticky, if you're ever in a sticky situation. So this building right here is the headquarter. I forgot what the name is called. There's actually a name for this building, um, but it's not called it's not called Club 25. But you can see right here, it's actually uh. Yeah, falls under the historic building and stuff. This right here, there's gift shop and stuff in there. And then they also have like this, uh, one of the dogs right here. I've seen a lot of people, I've seen a lot of drunk people try to climb on this dog and take photo on the weekends. But this right here is the headquarter. Festival headquarter, Dog Mushing Hall of Fames. Right here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's tour. This is just a quick walk here in downtown on a Tuesday night. I look forward to see you guys next time on our next video as we go into the season of Fur Run Day. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Much love. Bye bye. Have a good night.